So Andrew Tate went on Value Tainment and spoke about the fact that he considers Logan Paul to be a bitch for turning on him after he got canceled. So first things first, I want to make it very, very clear that Logan Paul is absolutely not really a tool of the matrix. He's a bought and sold individual with no soul. He doesn't stand up for anything and he doesn't mean anything he says. He gets pieces of paper from Susan or whoever else telling him what he's allowed to say on his channel to retain you it. You believe that? A hundred percent. Not only do I believe it, he's proved it himself. He will flip flop on any issue. He can be bought and sold. The dude's a bitch. Logan Paul is a bitch. And I will say that here publicly. If anyone wants, I'll fight him for free. Now I got to give it to, to Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate is right here. Logan Paul is a bitch for that. If you come out and you support this man, you laugh at this man's jokes, you say that this man is correct, you love him, which Logan Paul actually did, by the way. After you do all of that, how on God's green fucking earth can you then switch up and decide that you no longer want, you no longer want to roll with this nigga after he's been canceled? That's fake. Nigga, you already was talking crazy. You was acting like you were a fan of this nigga. You were... You were literally in support of him this whole time. The moment he gets canceled, now all of a sudden you've all of a sudden you've awoken. You've seen the light. Get the fuck out of here. And this is the problem that I got with content creators. Stop ruining it for everybody else. When y'all sit there and y'all take the side of the cancelers and y'all abandon the cancelee, y'all make it harder for everyone else who's a content creator. Can any lines be crossed? Can anybody be offended anymore? Can we make people laugh and simultaneously make other people cringe or be upset? Can we still do that, bro? When people like Logan Paul do shit like this, you cheapen the work that content creators do. You're not helping. You're not paving the way. You're not making things better. You're hurting. You're hurting things. I want to be able to go on the internet and laugh when women make fun of men. But in order for me to do that, though, we got to live in a world where we can sit there and laugh when men make fun of women. I want to be able to wake up to the Internet and see women say crazy shit about men on Twitter. But that ain't going to last if men can't talk crazy. I'm sorry. But these double standards will eventually come back to bite us all. And nobody's going to be able to have a laugh. Nobody's going to be able to sit there and say, man, fuck this nigga, Andrew Tate. But he can still be there if and, and, at any point you want to come back and maybe watch it again. You can watch it. You can consume the content. You can have that there. It's at the point where content creators cannot rely on one another to look these companies in the face and say, hey, look, we're sorry, but you're nothing without us. You have nothing without us. Your platform is not entertaining without us. And we see the same thing going on with Twitch. Twitch gets rid of Destiny. Twitch gets rid of Aiden Ross. Twitch damn near got rid of Kai Sanat. Twitch has done a horrible job with its biggest content creators, and as a result, they've all fled to YouTube. But with the Andrew Tate situation, he's been banned from every single fucking platform. How long until Aiden Ross is next? Kai Sinat is next. Jadeon is next. Destiny is next. How long before everybody gets booted the fuck up out of here over what? How long until Fresh and Fit, however y'all feel about them, are next? Content creation needs to be protected and it can't be protected when some of the biggest names like Logan Paul just decides out of random to just abandon Andrew Tate, right? When content creation cannot be protected, when someone like Logan Paul decides to switch up the moment Andrew Tate gets canceled. And let me remind Logan Paul, you got canceled for something way worse than what Andrew Tate did. Andrew Tate said some not nice things. You literally recorded someone's dead body in a suicide forest and made a video about it. You went to Japan and played around with those people like they weren't real people. You made fun of them, you mocked them, you mocked their culture, and ultimately you recorded one of their dead and posted it on fucking YouTube in a suicide forest. That was you. That was you. That was you. Now you want to turn around and get rid of Andrew Tate? Because the nigga says some things that folk didn't like and they banned him off every platform. Now you want to turn on Andrew Tate when it's convenient for you? You don't get to do that. After what you did? Uh-uh. You can't play that. You can't take the high ground. You can't play that game. You can't play that card. No. I'm sorry. So it's funny to me when content creators sit there and abandon one another and yeah, ban so-and-so and get rid of so-and-so. You don't realize it right now. But in future, you're going to have an opinion that everyone else doesn't like. 
And you know what their solution's gonna be to your opinion that they don't like? Deleting your ass. Getting you to fuck up out of here. Then what are you gonna do? Logan, you can't be on the side of popular opinion forever. You can't. You can't. At some point, you're going to offend people. At some point, you're going to piss people off. When that time comes, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Genuinely, I'm curious as to what you're going to do. Because people like you tighten the noose that's already tight around the neck of content creators who are not radical, liberal, leftist content creators. Not everybody wants to be a Hassan Piker. Most people don't want to be Hassan Piker. There has to be room for people who are not like him on this platform. I love Hassan Piker. I support his presence on YouTube. I like the guy. I don't agree with like maybe even 99% of the shit that he says, but I like his presence. I like what he represents. I like him. When we have someone like Andrew Tate, who hasn't even come close to saying the destructive and nasty things that Hassan Piker has said about the United States of America as it pertains to 9-11. For you to sit there and go at Andrew Tate and get rid of his ass, but you don't got shit to say about Hassan Piker is insane to me. And Logan Paul is simply shifting his opinion with what the masses say. If the masses are cool with Andrew Tate or don't know who Andrew Tate is or haven't spoken on him yet, haven't made a decision, you love Andrew Tate. The moment the masses say, fuck this nigga, get his ass up out of here, delete this nigga on every platform, we don't want to hear this nigga, we don't want to see him breathing, we don't want to see him talking, get this nigga up out of here. Now all of a sudden you got to change an opinion. Now all of a sudden you want to take a moral grandstand. Now all of a sudden you want this nigga banned on every platform. It's folk like you, Logan Paul, who are making this game of YouTube and content creation 10 times harder. 10 times fucking harder. Instead of sitting there and taking the side of people who you clearly, clearly, clearly don't agree with, because when the heat wasn't there, you were all over Andrew Tate's dick. The moment the heat popped off, now all of a sudden you don't fuck with this nigga no more? We know how you really feel. You really are a supporter of Andrew Tate. You really do like his shit. Your opinion only changed when you thought your career could take a hit from taking his side. That's when your opinion changed, which isn't genuine. It ain't real. You didn't actually better the world with what you did. What you actually did was you made it harder for people like us, like you, like me, like Andrew, like Destiny, like all of these people who make content. You made it harder for people like us to actually have stable careers and actually impact the world with our opinions, be they right or wrong, offensive or unoffensive. You made it harder. So Andrew Tate is right in my opinion. That's some bitch made shit. For you to sit there and be a fan of this nigga and then turn around and blacklist and blackball and talk crazy about this nigga the moment everybody else deletes him off everything on the internet now all of a sudden you don't like andrew tate nigga we could see that shit from a mile away that's fake that ain't real that's orchestrated by the people in your camp who want to protect your brand or probably you in protection of your brand that's all that was fake fake as fuck so i genuinely agree andrew tate is right you don't got no backbone or spine in regards to what you say or what you believe. And it gets to a point where what's the point of me watching you? What's the point of me listening? I don't even watch Logan Paul. Thank God that I'm not that type of nigga to even consume his content. But if I ever had the misfortune of watching Logan Paul one day, I would at least like to say, you know what? As I'm watching this annoying ass blonde nigga, I can know deep down in my heart that he believes everything he's saying. I believe I'm watching Logan Paul and listening to Logan Paul and not his PR team. That's what I want to be able to say when I listen to him. And I want my viewers to be able to look at Rashad and say, hey, when we watch Rashad Crenshaw's content, we feel like we're listening to Rashad Crenshaw's genuine beliefs. When we watch Rashad Crenshaw, we feel like we're genuinely listening to Rashad Crenshaw and not niggas in his circle telling him what to do and what not to do. Not his mama, not his homeboys, not his him. I would like for my audience to feel the same way about me when I make content. Facts. So Logan Paul is just another representation of people who don't know what they believe in. Everything is all about image. There has to be some sort of pushback in order for us as content creators to have a safe career, in order for us to have a position on YouTube, in order for us to have careers, we've got to be willing to stand up for each other. If we're willing to fall for absolutely anything, change our opinions on the fly, with no genuine energy behind it, what are we actually doing? That was ingenuine what he did. There was no, it wasn't genuine. That change in opinion wasn't genuine. It was built on fuckery. It was fake. It was all built on protecting his brand. 
So at the end of the day, I can't respect a nigga like I, I've never respected Logan Paul. Why do, Why am I talking like I'm disappointed in this nigga? I don't even watch this nigga. But I guess in a way I'm disappointed because he's got such a massive platform. Like nigga, you could swing harder than anyone else. You know what it's like to be canceled. Why can't you sit there and say, hey, I've been redeemed despite doing 10 times worse what this nigga has maybe even conceived of doing in his head, much less spoken. I've done 10 times worse than that. I have disrespected and defiled the dead. I have traveled to another group of people's country, treat them with the utmost disrespect, mock them, mock their dead. If I can receive lax treatment, forgiveness, whatever you want to call it, surely this bald nigga in, Mor in Romania could receive the same, right? No? Just you? Right. As if the fucking Paul twins have more to contribute to society than, than Andrew Tate. You can't make this shit up. You can't. At the end of the day, that's just what I think about it. Logan Paul is fake as fuck for that. Unbelievably fake. No consistency. These niggas don't believe half the shit that they say. But it's the internet. You never know what you run into. Niggas don't believe in half the shit that they say. And will fuck everybody else over in the content creator game to preserve their careers. Unfortunately. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.